Okay, how's it going guys? Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. And in this episode, we're gonna probably try to finish um, the Forest Temple. And uh, last episode, we got uh, the um, Orange Po, and we got a key from the chest. But before we actually go and face the Blue Po, we actually need uh, to get some other stuff so we can continue. Because we're gonna need another key, which is gonna be the final key we're gonna get. So let's go get that. So we're gonna go back the way we came from, through the... Uh, uh, again, the orange ghost, the orange po. Again, let's go back to the same way. And also, we've got uh, we acquired a new weapon. That is the bow. It's one of the most useful items in the entire game because uh, it's a ranged weapon. It's a uh, lot. Of course, it has more range than the hook shot, so that's going to be very useful. We're going to be back to the uh, bl the blue bubble room. Again, the best tactic to destroy them is to use your uh, deku nuts and then uh, just stab them, and they'll usually give you back some. Uh, Deco nuts, which is pretty good. Now that we have the bow, can actually activate these uh, blinking eyes. We do that, it's gonna strain the room. So instead of being all twisted, it's gonna make it uh, straightforward, literally. And now that we've done that, we can actually access uh, a new area of that room. And I'll show you uh, what we're gonna get. So if we come down here, there's gonna be this big yellow and blue chest. I wonder what's in this. We've never seen this chest before. What could it be? It's blue and yellow. That means something important, right? It's the boss key. So yeah, guys, there's going to be a boss in this uh, dungeon like in every single other dungeon. But instead of uh, just walking... Oh, sorry for bumping into the mic there. Uh, instead of uh, just walking into the boss room, we're actually going to need a boss key. And that is, we've gotten. So we're ready to face the boss. I'm just kidding. We're not quite. But now that we've got that, I'm just going to drop down this hole. And we're going to pop in another, another um, room full of uh, blue bubbles. And by full, I mean two of them. And again, just use your blue bubbles, and it's the easiest way to take them out. Actually, I found it's, I'm amazed how easy it is to take them out with the blue bubbles, with the you know, with the Deku nuts. And I'm filled with rupees, dude. I'm like, dude, stacks, fat sticks. And uh, we're gonna be in this. Oh God, you're ugly. Stay away from me. And we're in this. Uh, um, it's not quite a new area. We're in the same courtyard, one of the two courtyards we were before. But now we're up here. What you want to do is be very careful and uh, jump carefully towards this little uh, ruin of a pillar. And um, we're gonna get a golden sculpture up there. It's gonna be a, another golden sculpture. This is the second one in the dungeon, I believe so. so let's see if uh, my aim is uh, has improved since last episode. And it hasn't. There you go. So now that we've got that one, we're gonna carefully turn around and uh, slowly walk back to the edge. There you go. Uh, nothing in there. There's gonna be another room up right here, another room. And here we're gonna face a new type of enemy, which is the uh, Handmasters. And I kind of just made him look like uh, doo doo. And uh, that's one, that's two, and that's three. There you go, easy like that. And you'll take him out just easy like that. I said easy twice, three times actually. All thanks to the bigger on sword. See guys, if we wouldn't gotten, if we wouldn't waited until we got like the long show, which is the water temple, you know, I I probably would have died quicker, but. Thanks to my knowledge and my wisdom, we got her earlier. Thank you, myself. Another key! Hey, that's the key we needed! Sweet, ready to go back. But wait, there's more. So again, outside, you guys are gonna be another door to your right. And this door is gonna lead back to the, I guess we call it the puzzle room, where there was all the, uh, all those, um, push block, um, uh, all those blocks that we needed to push. Hey, more Deku Nuts, sweet. So we're gonna be back at this room. So all we need to do is just pretty much just go back the the way we came from. So we can we have to go back to the uh, where the blue po was. Uh, you know, well we haven't seen the blue po, but uh, back where the orange po was. Uh, there's another room next to it that uh, is where the blue po is. We've couldn't gotten there, but uh, after that we could, we were gonna need another key and we didn't have that key. So you know I, I didn't want to like you know get that and be like oh I need a key and then go back. You know no no that's that's not professional. Who do you think who do you think I am? I'm a let's player. I'm a YouTuber. I care about my content and I make it the best in quality I cook it slow I don't know what that I just I thought that would sound better it didn't all right I hear more blue bubbles and yes I do we're back at this room so let's uh, get you let's get you can I get you I cannot there you go oh look at that more deku nuts um, I don't think we actually use them in the boss battle but definitely useful. All right, so now that we don't want the uh, hallway straightened, just use your bow again and to shoot the eye, and it will reopen. Even though it makes no sense, how uh, you know, if it's already closed, how it's gonna reopen? Just shoot it again with an arrow. Yeah, makes sense. It is a switch though. So it's gonna be all twisted again, and now we'll be able to uh, walk back to the. 
first room we were in, which is the uh, the stairs room. So go through the same door, and right here, this is where the orange po was. As you can see, the rooms are no longer there because we took care of them. So we're gonna go back down here and uh, all the way, all the way down. Go through the door, and this is gonna be the I think that was the Stolfo's room, yeah. Yeah, this is the Stolfo's room where we got the bow. Now we can actually continue and go to the other door or the side of the room where the you know another door is. And then here's gonna be the blue po. As you can see, there's another set of uh, another torch right there that's to symbolize that we've killed the ghost. And you can see I heard his little laugh there. Is he there? No, he's gonna be all the way up to the stairs. So let's uh and I figured out we can you can actually get him from down here. Just yeah, you just have to have pretty good aim. Not like I do, but hey. And he's gonna be on that next. And then behind us, because he has no uh nowhere else to go. So let's uh shoot him. And he's gonna appear like, oh my god, my paintings. He has the longest nose, I think, of all of them. I think his name is Joel. Uh I'm not sure though. Hey, so let's fight him. So let's uh, whip him to go invisible. He can attack and uh, wait for him. Wait for him. Oh, you're gonna come again. You're gonna come again. You're gonna come again. Oh, and jump attack. There you go. We need one more jump attack on this guy, and he should be able to. He should be dead. So I figured out to like uh, provoke him. Just get close to them, and they'll uh, they'll sorry they'll they'll start swinging their torches towards you. And like that, we've got the second pose. We just need two more pose. And uh, that is the green one, or the yellowish one, and the purple one. Give me another chest, and we're gonna get the final piece of this dungeon. Uh, because you guessed it, you know? You probably guessed it right now, you probably know by now, actually. It's the compass! Yay, now we know where we are, even though we already kinda, we we're already kinda done with the dungeon. We're gonna go back to this room. Wait, is that it? Is that really? Is it? No, I think we know, there's another room. What am I thinking? There's another whole room above this, Robert. It's kind of confusing because this is the same room mirrored, so you know I always get confused which one was the uh, blue and orange pill. But then again, there's a torch, so I shouldn't be that stupid. So this is the one of the keys we needed, and you're like, "But Robert, you already had that key," and I'm like, "I know, dude. Uh, watch for the shadow monsters that hang from the ceiling." Thanks, Navi. Alright, so you want to come down to over here, and of course I missed the ladder and the and the ledge both at the same time. There's gonna be another hallway that's not the same one, full of green bubbles. I don't know. I don't know what the colors represent, but they the definitely. Rep I think it's like this. Oh, I, I think they just stay flying then, like that. So you can just take them out with your bow, like that. And as you can see, we were going to need another key right here that I didn't have, and I was gonna like, oh, I need to go back now. But uh, luckily, I got the key. We can actually go into this uh, room. Oh, this puzzle. This is a very interesting puzzle that took me a long time to, uh, I guess, decipher. You're supposed to shoot your arrow through the fire until the uh, ice uh until the ice eye ice ice eye and you have to have pretty good aim oh look at that first try i'm a pro guys i'm an mlg pro sniper club but i totally should join like some sort of clan for zelda and this is going to uh activate that one um that room we were just in you know that uh straight hole with the uh, green bubbles and it's going to lead us onto a new area so let's go back and of course it's going to be again the green bubbles so just use your arrows your bow and arrows to take care of them and they, oh, there you go, just like that. Nothing? Okay, he's not gonna drop anything. And I think there's gonna be another hole we're supposed to fall into. Yeah, that hole right there. So just fall towards that hole. You're gonna be, you're gonna drop down to this some sort of weird checker room kind of thing. What's on this side? Uh, I think that just leads back to the main room, I believe. So, so you're gonna start walking, and life is gonna be like, oh wait, Link, watch out! The ceiling is falling down. This is the only time Navi is helpful because if you, if she didn't tell you anything, you probably would get would have gotten crushed by the ceiling. So what you want to do is to keep on going, press this button right here, that's going to open the door all the way back, and just wait for the ceiling to drop down again. There's going to be another chest right there. I think there's going to be arrows in that chest, but again, this room is full with uh, sculptulas, so just be careful with them. So let's see what's in this chest. Not a key though. Yeah, that's a bundle of arrows, like I, uh, like I said there would be. So let's wait for the ceiling to go back up, and uh, let's go through the door. And this room, uh, all right, this is the uh, third pole room. As you can see, there's a painting right there. And you're like, well, what am I supposed to do here? Well, let's uh, I show the other paintings. Let's show this painting again. You're going to shoot the painting, and these uh, blocks are going to drop down. And this is a puzzle. This is a puzzle to solve, and you're supposed to, uh, I guess, push the blocks in a way that you, I guess, build the ghost. It's pretty much a, uh, a jigsaw puzzle, kind of, but it, with blocks. So now just, uh, there's gonna be one piece that's not part of the puzzle, and of course that's that's the uh, blue po piece. So just be careful with that piece, you can pretty much tell it, tell which one is it out of all three of them. 
and uh, it doesn't have to be any. And oh, I know I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit behind. It doesn't have to be in uh, any particular spot of the of the, uh, of the room. Oh, I did not mean to climb, man. Uh, just make sure they're both uh, all, uh, all of them are together. And uh, doesn't matter which way they are, just as long as they're together, it uh, it'll count it as the uh, you solve the puzzle. I think I need one more. Yeah, there you go. And uh, that should do it. That should do it. You do have a timer, so, you know, just be quick about this. And like that, go boom. And he's going to appear ready to fight you. So just be ready, because he's going to fight you. <laughs> Again, same tactic. Uh, get close to him. Uh, he'll attack you with his uh, torch. And uh, wait for him to appear. Come on, come on. Show up and slash. Hack, hack, and slash, slash. Let's do this again. Let's get close to him. He starts spinning again. He's green. Okay, so he is green. I mean, he's kind of yellowish, I guess. And just like that, two slashes, and he should be dead as dead. You know, the big ground sword is really helpful. So I'm, I'm glad we got it because it uh, it makes the uh, dungeons easy, easy. It makes the dungeons easier. And that's it. We are gonna go through this door. What's in this chest? I can't. I forget. Is there a theory here at all? No, just arrows and a ruby. And we're gonna go back to the main room. There's gonna be a skull shell in the way, so just take care of it. And just like that, fall down, hearts, anything? Hey, rupees, I don't need them, but thanks, bruh. We're gonna open the door, we're gonna go back to the main, main, main room, the first one we were in, and um, now that we've gone the three ghosts, oh, who's that? It's the fourth ghost, the purple one. And he's gonna be like, oh, how are we gonna fight him? Oh, what? Wait, is he, is he gonna, oh, he's multiplying. All right, easiest way to find, uh, so uh, there's four copies of him. What you wanna do, it's use your uh, sword, to uh, do the spinny attack, and uh, it'll reveal the real ghost. And uh, I messed up. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to uh, just charge your sword, wait for them to spawn. And so you don't waste your arrows, just spin it, and uh, the one that's left, just use your arrows. Uh, I take too long. I definitely take too long. Actually, I want to experiment something. I want to see if I can actually... Uh... Okay, so you can actually... Uh, you can use that. You can do that. There you go. I think I got it that time. You can't uh, use your sword because he'll like back away. So you have to use your arrows uh, on purpose. So hey, there you go, like that. Uh, you're probably gonna be hearing a lot of uh, a lot of that uh, uh, playing with the joystick. Is uh, I don't want to miss him like I've done. So I'm just I'll just be quick about this. I think he needs like four or five shots because you know the bow is not the most powerful weapon in the game. But hey, it is required to beat this little. Uh, is it a mini boss? I don't know. It is required to beat this enemy, this a particular enemy. So let's wait for them to come back again, and Kucho Prolebe, and the one that's left, and let's use the bow and kill him. I think that's, what's that, four or three? I think we needed one more, either one more or two more. We'll find out. And that's the one, use you. There you go, like that. And he's gonna die, and of course his little fire is gonna go back to the torch, and he's gonna race back this little uh, elevator that we saw right at the beginning of the temple. Of the temple, of the temple. So let's drop down, and let's jump on it. Jump on it, jump on it, jump. Jump, jump on it, jump, jump, jump on it, jump, jump, jump on it. All right, so we're gonna back. To, we're gonna be in this little uh, puzzle room. What you wanna do is to grab one of these uh, big, uh, I guess, parts of the wall, and you can you wanna push them, and it's gonna uh, move the wall. Like the entire wall is gonna move. I don't know by how much, by like one space, I guess. And uh, there's rooms that are gonna be blocked, and there's gonna be rooms that are not gonna be blocked that we're supposed to do things in, like this one. There's a button in this one. I wonder what the button does. Oh, it opens that gate. But does 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 it lead somewhere? It does at some point in the time, in the time in time. All right, so let's push it again. And uh, here's gonna be another uh, golden sculpture, and one of the, of course, one of the gates is gonna lead to the boss. Can't remember which one. That door is closed. Is it closed? It is closed. I see it. You hear the golden sculpture? I hear it. It's gonna be another one of those uh, buttons. Just step on it, and it's gonna open another gate. Yet another gate. And uh, I think I'm supposed to keep pushing it this way. I really hope I'm right. If I'm not right, I'm going to be really disappointed with myself. I think that's the way you're supposed to push it. I hope so. Um, let's see. Where is the room? I think the, the, the room that should be open is the one with the golden school tool, I think. Oh, that almost took me away with him. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a, a regular school tool, a chest, which is going to have uh, arrows, because uh, arrows are required to beat the boss. Da 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 da. And uh, where is the goal? I think, yeah, it's up there. Like that's gonna be up there, and just shoot it like that. And doo -doo 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 -doo. you just throw the gold score All right, and uh, that's about it in this part of the map. Um, so let's just open the last, let's push it one more, one more time. One last time. Um, and this should open the gates to the boss battle. 
which is right over here. That one right there. Oh, look at that. The gates are closed. What? Why? Wait, why are the gates closed? Ah, pff, my god. I am stupid. I And I'm like 50 minutes already in. Oh, this is not good, kids. Oh, uh, wait. That button is pushed. Did I miss a button? Wait, I think. Oh, wait. You know what? I think there's another button I'm supposed to push. Let's go back one. I think because I didn't check the other room. So, yeah. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. See, the, that's the boss door. And on this side, there should be another room with another button, right? If I'm correct, yes, there is. See? I'm smart, guys. I mean, I can be smart sometimes. I can be dumb. Like, most of the times I'm dumb, but usually I can be smart. So, I'm pretty happy with myself. I'm pretty content. Let's play with this. Oh, I thought you, were, you thought I was going to go back up, but I didn't. All right, so as you can see, there's the big golden key right here. That means it's going to be leading to the boss room. But uh, we are a little bit over time. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like below. And subscribe for more Zelda content. On the next episode, we're going to take on the boss. I'm not going to spoil which the bo what the boss is. And uh, we're probably going to do more stuff after the boss. I don't, wanna, I, I don't want it to be a super short episode. But uh, yeah, again, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye. Bye. <laughs>